the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I believe in you. I believe in your word and the perfect truth. I believe in you. So I lay down my cross, that the cross might be found in you. So fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run. your hands and just be quiet in his presence. Just lift your hands to the heavens. Everywhere inside and his glory is mighty in this place. Hmm. Just lift your hands to his glory. Just lift your hands. Of your presence, we your temple. We give you reverence. Now arise from your throne. By our praise as we glory in your embrace. Let your power now feel. Lord, we wait on you. For you are that river that flows from Zion, bringing healing, bringing salvation. We have come tonight, O oh God, expecting you to bless us. We are not in a hurry. We are not in a hurry. 
Lord, we wait on you. You are drawing strength from the throne. Don't you think you are wasting time at all? This is part of the meeting. Already he's doing miracles. He's touching people by his anointing. Touching people by his anointing. No man is able to respond to your situation. We're invoking an anointing that is greater than us. Power that is greater than us. I hear the Spirit say unto me, lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Lay your burdens down. The bills, the sickness, the frustrations. For I am able, said the Spirit of God. I am able, said the Spirit of God. Lay your burdens down. You have allowed your situations to overwhelm you. You have allowed your situations to be cloud your faith. I am still able. I am still able, said the Spirit of God. I am still able. That's what the Lord is telling us tonight. I am able. You may not know how the miracle will come to pass, but I am able. I am able. That's what the Lord is saying. I'm moving ahead of you into that area of darkness. The Lord is giving people miracles, responding to your individual needs. I may not know what they are, but you came for koinonia. The God of heaven is meeting men at the point of their needs. I go before you. I go before you. I go before you. I'm seeing what looks like a cleaner. God is saying, I'm erasing your mistakes. That's what God is saying to someone. I'm erasing your mistakes. I'm erasing your past. I'm giving you a new beginning. I'm giving you a new beginning. A new beginning. Yes, we someone 
I'm restoring your dreams and visions. That's what God is saying. I'm restoring. I'm restoring your dreams. Those encounters you used to have. Those supernatural encounters. You stopped writing for a long time. Because the visitation ceased. Tonight the oil is being opened and released unto you. It's like a fragrance. You are receiving it. It's coming upon your life. That's what the Spirit is saying. It's time to come back to the secret place. It's time to come back to the secret place. For someone the Lord is ministering. You used to spend time with me two hours every night. But you stopped. You stopped. There were all kinds of distractions. But the Lord is saying I'm still waiting for you. In that place of encounter. I'm still waiting for you. To show you great things. To show you great things. To show you great things. The Lord is speaking to a man here. You are an engineer. And he's saying do not give up. I'm about to step into your life. Do not give up. The Lord gave you a word by January that he will honor you. But as it is you've not seen anything. No projects. No work. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's stepping in, even in this glory. Stepping in in this glory. There are a number of ladies here. You really used to hear God with clarity. But all kinds of distractions came into your life and sincerely for a long time. You cannot say you really had God with a clear direction. But the Lord is bringing a restoration right now. That's what is happening. The hearing ears. God is opening your ears once again. To start hearing the voice of the Spirit. With clarity. I'm seeing, I'm seeing green grasses. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing freshness to your spiritual life. That life of stillness. Stillness carrying yesterday's grace yesterday's glory the lord is replacing it with something new and fresh thank you jesus for you alone will do these things and glorify yourself. You have come tonight to experience His grace. The anointing of the Spirit is strong. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Lord, let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. According to your promises, I can stand secure. Would you carve upon my heart? This truth that sets me free According to your word, O oh Lord Be it unto me Verily, verily, I say unto you He that believeth on me Says the works that I do Shall also do Greater works than this shall be. Spirit of God, we thank you for your presence. is speaking a word to someone and he's saying the harassment comes to stop it 
comes to a full stop tonight. The harassment in dreams. That spirit that comes to you to oppress you. The harassment stops. The harassment stops by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The harassment stops. The harassment stops. But thou, oh Lord, no, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. expecting a touch you're already touching people in the name of Jesus please everyone just lay your right hand on your tummy this is the instruction God is giving let's just act lay your right hand on your tummy please no instruments everything just stop let's, let's just obey what the Lord is saying just lay your right hand on your tummy don't mind me this is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. Now, there are many of you who are going to be receiving strange graces for the next level. Supernatural direction. It will come like fire inside and outside. Right now, oh God, confirm your word with power across this building and in every of the overflows. Right now, just keep your hands on your stomach. Miracles. Shabakataya. Let it leave the heavens and come to the earth. Miracles. Miracles. Everywhere. Outside, there is a mighty angelic walk. It's like an impregnation that is happening outside. Strange signs outside. In every one of the overflows. Strange signs of the spirit. Strange signs. There are two ladies at my back in the worship team. I see the power of God touching you right now. Strange signs, that fire from your innermost being. From your innermost being right now. The Lord is doing that miracle across the entire auditorium. He's touching people. Let's just let him do what he's doing. Because this is the answer to your prayer. This is why you have prayed. You can't stand it. Lord, let it leave your throne. Let it not be restrained in the heavens until it steps into the destinies of your people this is what they have prayed for they have fasted for it they have prayed they have fasted they have prayed they have fasted then let it come oh god let it come oh god the grace that can open strange doors strange testimonies strange testimonies Shaka barakosia. just the guitar just play minors just on the guitar go ahead in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not the bass guitar. Just keep your hands on your stomach. The Lord is doing a miracle. The Lord is saying he's stepping into 
the finances of families this is what i'm hearing that's why he told me let the guitar play because he wants to speak the lord is doing miracles in finance in the finances of many families right now i'm hearing favor financial favor i'm releasing financial favor you will hear the testimony it will start in your life it will flow to your family that's what the lord is saying where are they oh god touch them touch them touch them touch them bring performance to your word bring creation to your word financial miracles financial miracles the lord is saying it's time to move to the next level he's speaking to families it's time to move financially there is a mantle coming i'm seeing it like a dew it's like the dew of heaven if it comes upon you it's your family he's talking about if it comes upon you expect it don't just receive expect a testimony i don't know how it will happen but if you are affected by this prophetic word then your family is under the influence of a financial anointing lord spare not your hand stretch it from the heavens stretch it from the heavens release financial miracles that's what the lord is saying for many of you it will do you like a dream you wouldn't even know how it will happen supernatural connections strategic alliances by the spirit of god meeting the people that matter meeting the people that matter financial saviors financial helpers joseph safari matthias rising for you rising for you This is what you have prayed for it is important that you receive testimonies you receive miracles there is a lady you traveled from the south like a, one of the yoruba countries you came all the way from the south and you came asking the lord to visit your family right now the miracle is already beginning for your family such an invasion of the spirit of god it's bringing light to every area of darkness. There is a brother, the Lord is speaking. He's saying, leave the wedding date at September. Don't move it. Leave it there. I will make it happen. It will be by my spirit. The Lord is speaking to a brother. Leave the wedding date at September. Leave it there. Don't change it because of finances. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. The Lord is speaking to a woman here, not a young lady, a woman. The dream that I gave you July 2012 is about to come to pass the dream that i gave you july 2012 july 2012 is coming to pass speedily july 2012 that dream that i gave you july 2012 is coming to pass a miracle is coming for a gentleman by the name musa musa a gentleman by the name musa the lord is bringing a miracle for him right now God is healing a lady of appendicitis. Appendicitis, that's what, that's what it is. You don't know, but you've been having severe pain. Severe pain is appendicitis. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. There is a man here you've been trusting god for promotion this is five years five years the lord says in the next three months your letter will arrive in the next three months and you will testify pay attention to the prophetic words there is grace to make them come to pass Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please be seated if you can. 
just leave those under the anointing just sit if you can God is doing strange things tonight there are three ladies this will come upon supernatural laughter in a very strange way they can't control it I will worship you forever love you forever this God is too don't just bring people out like that please this is a prophetic experience they'll never be able to stop the laughter it's not it's not about what they want to do is a is a message I will worship you forever love you forever because I prophesy to all three of you let your family step into a season of laughter right now I release that anointing even as you are laughing I release it in the name of Jesus there is authority in your laughter I declare by that authority in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names the Lord is bringing miracles to people glorify yourself oh God in the name of Jesus listen we do business in this kingdom on the strength of mysteries mysteries are secret codes of operation he said the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants there is a way to make things happen in the spirit madam the witchcraft in your family dies forever it leaves your family right now i command that spirit you take your hands of her life in the name of jesus christ James, 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 you are a visitor. Who is that? Is there someone like that? James. There's someone called James. He's a visitor. This is your first time of coming. Run. The Lord wants to use you and bring a miracle to your family. But look at me. God needs to save you. Huh? There are many things wrong with your life. Many things. Huh? You are a bad boy. God is going to change your entire life. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but there will be a miracle for you right now. Because the hand of God is upon your life, but there is a spirit that is destroying you. A spirit that is destroying you. I cast that spirit right now. Let it live your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you can use anybody and anything. You brought James out. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to one more lady. Helene. I'm hearing a name. Helene. Is there someone with that name? Helene. Come. Who came with you? I came alone. You came alone. But why am I seeing a man standing near you? Listen. There is a spirit tormenting you. Let her go now. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. This has stopped her life. Tied everything. I'm seeing everything under chains. There is a man standing. And this man is shouting and saying he's married to you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, that spirit lives your life forever. I bring you complete deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Are you married? That's it for your marriage. This is the reason why you are not married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because this has been your prayer. This has been your desire. Anything you start. 
and I need to pray for you because your stomach is swelling. It's even embarrassing you. You are thinking it's because you are eating too much. If I don't pray for you, they will tell you something like fibroid is growing. And we have to pray. We cause it. It dies a natural death and goes back there. That person that comes to oppress you in your dream never returns to you again forever in the name of Jesus. And may doors open for you strangely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Um, there are three things. Three keys. Three mysteries. That can invoke the manifested presence of God. The manifest presence of God in the life of a man. In a ministry. I wanted to start a series on throne room encounters but the Lord asked me to talk about this number one is obedience we're going to be fast because I want us to pray God still wants to visit people my sister come this lady um, where the usher is standing that gentleman right one two three just your rope the third lady come no not you the lady at your back come Yes, she's the one. You come, please. Please save our time. Um, the Lord says I should prophesy to you that the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. You may look at yourself and think you are nobody. You may look at yourself and think you are a weak person. This is what has been destroying you. You compare yourself with people. You have been crying simply because you are not doing well. You are not doing well in anything. And then people have been insulting you. And this has made you to feel so bad. While you were sitting there, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of misery. You see the lady crying. You see, let me tell you, there are all kinds of people seated in this place tonight. When you see people just sitting, you may not know what is destroying them, eating them up. Because the destiny that I see is far different from what I see right now. This is already putting a lot of pressure. You love God, but you know, this sense of inferiority is killing you and eating you up. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the rejected stone will later become the chief cornerstone. Lord Jesus, I pray for this dear lady. There is nobody you cannot change. There is nobody you cannot touch. May the God that I serve visit you. May he give you a new beginning. I cut you away from bad friends and bad influences that make you try to do things to belong. No. Leave them this night. Don't have anything to do with them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, Madam, you are asking the Lord to talk to me that I should minister to you. I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are praying and your prayer is coming to my ears. You are bowing your head and you are saying, Oh God, please let this man talk to me. What is the relationship between you and the woman sitting close to you? She's my elder sister. Do I know? Come. Because I'm seeing that the miracle is not just for you alone, but God is doing something for the family. Please stand up. Kai, this woman has suffered seriously. I look at this woman, I'm seeing pains. You are a very kind woman, but what is this thing that makes you in trouble? All sorts of trouble. Where is your husband? What's he doing? Madam. God needs to visit three things. That's what the Lord is showing me. Number one is your finances. Things are dying in your family. That thing your husband is doing, before he collects his salary, he's already owing. There is serious trouble. You have cried about this thing. It's even causing trouble for you people at home right yes, now. Sir. Is that true? Yes. Sir. Your husband is in, in fact, sometimes he looks as if, you know, you have to look at yourself and say, am I irritating this man yes, because of the way he's behaving? You are even yes. suspecting that maybe he's having an affair with somebody yes, else. Sir. The Lord is ending this confusion for you because you are a kind woman. 
there is a spirit responsible for your tragedy this woman is a very kind woman but i'm seeing bad luck everywhere you go that's what i'm seeing there's nothing you do that works see let me tell you the power of god look at this family crying you know sometimes people think we just do these things because we are emotional and we're wasting time did you know there are people as they are sitting down there that's their last opportunity they are saying they will now go to a prophet or somebody and he will tell them bring hundred thousand bring two hundred thousand remove your clothes let me bath you let me do this and then after that one you add all kinds of things because i'm looking at this woman and i'm seeing a lot of struggle the same spirit causing you pain is what wants to destroy her life and destroy what is supposed to be an, a source of joy for her marriage huh we have to pray did you come alone they are crying i think for official assignment Yesterday she told me about your story. I was supposed to go back to Abuja. Yeah. My story. We have changed three universities for my son. It's a drug addict. My first son, 23 years. The drug addict. Where is he? He's in Abuja. Suleiman. It's not just that this boy is a drug addict. Ah, I don't like what I'm seeing, no. Because they want to convert this boy. That's what I'm seeing. This is this is not a nice thing. We are going to pray. Truly, this woman has suffered. But things are going to change. Your husband needs a miracle, a big miracle. Do you know this woman is so kind? She's not even concerned about herself. She would rather not have clothes than for her children. This is the kind of woman I'm seeing in the spirit. I sold my car to pay school fees. I sold my car to pay my son's. Can you work on this technical or Shadrach? Are you doing something wrong? I sold my car to pay my son's school Your fees. Your car? To pay whose school fees? My son's school fees. The boy that is. Oh, look at this. Where is he? see let me tell you may god make this never be your testimony you don't know what it means the child you are waiting for trusting that god will use him to wipe your tears and the devil just hijacks his destiny now no car and the son is not even serious i need to pray for you because you have not slept very well in days madam i'm looking at your sister and i'm seeing that you have not slept I'm hearing you people saying what what is wrong with our family especially the girls the ladies in your family that's what you you are the one who is saying that thing you are telling her i'm seeing you people in a discussion and you you are telling her what is wrong with our family all the ladies they are virtuous they love god but nothing good comes out of it and there are families like this seated looking at me is that true madam Yes, sir. Because I'm hearing a conversation and she's asking you. We are saying, seven, seven ladies, seven How women. many of you? Seven of us. How, who is doing well among you? Nobody. Nobody. You see what I'm saying? Seven ladies. Nobody is doing well. And all of them are serious and nice, virtuous ladies. They either get married to foolish men yes. or get married to all kinds of things. Yes, sir. Where is number four? Who is number four among them? It's our mother. Huh? her mother there is a miracle that god wants to give her because the lord said that she's number four in the order is visiting her my dear please calm down what happened to your mother in her marriage the devil wants to bring it to happen to you we are going to destroy it. their father is not with her mother that's what i'm saying we are going to destroy it because this one so i will worship him forever love him forever because this God is too good. I will worship Him forever, love Him forever. Because this God is too good. Bring that lady who shouted. 
there is a miracle god wants to give her family is it okay if i just continue ministering please i know i'm supposed to share something but the the thing god is doing now god wants to talk to people let's let's just let him solve serious problems here yeah. It's your time for breakthrough. Stand up. You, come. I came all the way. An angel of the Lord was walking and said I should follow him. And he brought me to your place. Come. It's time for God to wipe your tears. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You get the glory. You get the glory. Hallelujah. We don't kill, but I'm seeing someone's uncle dying. I'm seeing that man in a shrine concocting something and saying all the ladies would not marry. But I'm seeing like thunder striking him. That's what the Lord is showing. Help that lady. Right now. I'm seeing it happen. I announce the obituary if I be a servant of the Lord. Right now. May the earth open and swallow them. I speak it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Any man sitting on what belongs to you. Any man sitting on your glory. Jimmy, God is bringing a miracle for your sister. I'm seeing your sister. I'm seeing your face and I'm seeing her still flash. Is she here? Oui. Come. I didn't even know that she's here. I'm seeing the Lord is saying he's bringing a miracle for her. I'm seeing somebody clean footprints on the ground. That's what I'm seeing. You are moving and you are leaving footprints. And the footprints, I see flies all around it. But I'm seeing someone cleaning, cleaning it. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He says, I should tell you, behold, I will do a new thing. God will begin a strange walk in your life. And it's going to surprise you. A strange walk. You have a desire for God. You sincerely love God. And let me tell you, the desire is not a waste. The same way your brother is loving God and being passionate. Look at me. It's not about perfection. It's about sincerity of motive. The, the journey to self-perfection is unnecessary and exhausting. What God requires is a sincere desire for me. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointing that will wipe the past of this lady's life, the past that eats you, I curse it by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, may your conscience be purged by the blood May the water of the word cleanse you and may grace be supplied unto you for a new dimension, for a new level. I release this grace upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go to Exodus 40, 33, please. Exodus 40, 33. We really have to be fast. <sighs> Exodus 40, 33. Moses wanted to once again experience the manifested presence of God. But he could not see that presence find expression until his obedience was perfected, complete. Let me tell you something. Half obedience is not obedience at all. Half obedience. You must obey to the latter. God is very meticulous about his instructions. Are we together now? And so God kept watching as they attempted building it. And then 40 verse 33 it says and he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up for the hanging of the court gate right read the last sentence if you have open there it says so moses finished the work he finished building according to pattern obeyed as instructed to the latter and something happened in the next verse 34 it says then 
a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle the word glory is the Hebrew word kabod the essence the fullness the expression of all that makes a man what he is or whatever deity so when we say the glory of God the effulgence of his person right fill the temple 35 and Moses was not able to enter the tent of congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the temple when you are obedient you will see the glory of the Lord in your life in most remarkable ways you don't have to be a pastor to see the glory of God you don't have to be a man of God once you are kingdom compliant the sacrifice of complying with the principles of the kingdom then you are authorized to experience the glory you see you may not be able to see all of the clouds and all of that but the glory of God is made manifest in miracles strange testimonies dramatic operations of the hands of God that leaves you baffled everyone who sees you knows that this is by the finger of God somebody's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ grace to obey grace to obey you must cry for it complete obedience gives you access access to experiencing the glory number two the second key to experiencing the manifestation of God's glory is prayer prayer Matthew chapter 7 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 Matthew 17 Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 this was the encounter that we call the transfiguration of Jesus we apologize for the inability of the media to switch for now please just bear with us I'm sure they are working on it and after six days listen Jesus taketh Peter James and John his brother and bringeth them up into a high mountain privately there are certain things in the kingdom that are not just for Christians listen I know we have this idea that yes God doesn't want to hide anything from us but you see the dispensation of spiritual realities is according to the degree to which the Spirit of God can trust you there are certain trust levels if you have not attained certain deep mysteries of the kingdom cannot be committed to you the Bible says that he was one who called all the disciples but he took three and he says there is something I want to show you privately what did he show them privately a mystery the bible says and was transfigured before them listen he went to the place of prayer and that transfiguration began and the bible says his face did shine like the sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them moses and elijah talking with him listen verse 4 he says then then answered peter and said unto jesus lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make this and that and that and that you know and then he was just speaking and so on and so forth and then the bible says verse 5 while he yet spoke jesus was communicating with them in the place of prayer and he was trying to make an arrangement and the bible says behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and then behold a voice spoke out of the cloud and said this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him verse 6 he says and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and they were much terrified he says and Jesus came and touched them and said arise and be not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man except Jesus only listen there is a dimension of the glory of God you will never experience until the ministry of prayer brings you there you can do every bible study you know to do you can read every concordance takes and so on and so forth 
there is a degree of open heavens the manifestation of the glory of god upon a man's life that is a direct answer to the ministry of prayer are we together now he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint he spake a parable B by prayer i don't just mean oh god give me tea give me bread that's just, that's petition 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 give me tea give me bread that's petition hallelujah the kind of prayer i'm talking about is the type that is said in the book of james effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man you see let me tell you there is nothing in your life that can substitute for the absence of a healthy life of prayer no matter your what level it will show when a man does not have an altar that is alive an altar of prayer the first thing that disappears is discernment discernment is lack of discernment is spiritual blindness what lack of discernment is to the realm of the spirit that's what blindness is in the physical realm the moment a man is close to the impulses of the activities of the spirit there is no effect of them. so things happen around our lives and we we become victims we become um, um, victims of the effects of things that happen not the initiators of the faith the minister of prayer it was on the strength of prayer that when satan spoke to peter jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan desired by discernment he desired to shift you like we he said but i have what what was the antidote prayed for you not discuss with him i prayed for you peter something is wrong with your discernment you didn't even know when the holy ghost was speaking to you you just said i am the christ and the spirit took over your voice you didn't even know the difference he said i'll pray for you because that's what is wrong the absence of the healthy altar of prayer it has numbed your discerning ability there are many believers here and it's sad if you're a leader here and you're a pastor believe me if you don't pray you will your discernment will be dark and blocked one of the greatest advantage of walking in the spirit is access to feeling the impulses of the environment of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real realm like the physical realm right when you get born again and you are filled with the holy ghost as you begin to pray the first thing that happens to you is an activation of the ability to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit it may start in dreams it may start in visions it could be dramatic but then your spirit listen to my message spiritual perception your impulses of the spirit right they be, you begin to pick signals there is danger uh -uh. god does not want me to go here he doesn't have to give you a reason lack of prayer has brought a lot of catastrophe not all these things will just stroll around 30 minutes one hour you just throw back it's called the effectual fervent you don't have time to fathom you have passion to it and as far as your passion can drive you that's the validity of the prayer time it's not about saying i'll pray for 10 minutes or five hours or eight hours you will pray until the nothing of the spirit releases you you are praying to burn things in the spirit not for the formality of religion the problem with the prayer ministry is that most people pray to feel spiritual and then maybe to intimidate themselves their little group so if i pray for 30 minutes you add 30 minutes to it and it makes you look spiritual no when you are a spiritual man there is always an object that drives you to the prayer part time and as you pray you keep checking the rewards of your victory as against the impulse and stop only when that victory is established this is where we miss it when elijah prayed was it just according to desire he wanted an effect first time he prayed only god knows how long that was he said go and check there was no result what did he do again we stop we stop because it's two hours 
we use earthly time to gauge certain things you see the 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 things we are contending against sometimes will require time and certain dynamics of spiritual operation to produce victory so if you have this idea that because you are you want to pray you just sense god wants to speak to you and then you pray for 30 minutes or one hour and you feel i am okay you see you are using a wrong timing the same way if you pray for eight hours just blindly and religiously and think because you prayed for eight hours it means you are making contact with the spirit no sir you pray according to the guidance of the spirit the spirit of god instructs you he navigates you your prayer there is a connection between a burden in the spirit and something in the realm of the spirit and you pray until there is a relief when the servant came and said i've seen the sign elijah stopped at once it is a let me just continue since i've gone so far he stopped at once because prayer has a purpose once the purpose is achieved stop and move on in action brothers and sisters hear me especially for those who are workers those who are students those who are maybe business people and so on and so forth the the propensity for negligence in the place of prayer is very high are we together as a student you have lecture in the morning sometimes marathon lectures you are finishing in the evening you may have fellowship or you have certain things the truth is when you calculate it you find out that there's no time for quality prayer are we together now you see the most important thing about prayer is not necessarily praying eight, eight hours every day at your level you cannot pray eight hours every day you'll be irresponsible in your activity the key is to maintain the fire and set periodic times when you compensate for the absence of the secret place. at least i expect everybody once a week you should be able to have some time when you can dedicate certain things and let me tell you in my life one of the biggest secrets of my prayer life is the mystery of night prayers i can tell you this as any man that prays the night time is when men men gain grounds in the spirit why do you think people die in the night when they sleep why do you think people sicknesses and diseases amplify in the night there are many mysteries we don't know in the body of christ maximize your night time especially for many of us here because we are young establish things in the night don't crash into trouble and then you are wondering what to do in the day the daytime is for manifestation we settle realities in the night believe me it will not rob you of sleep it's just a little sacrifice of prayer that will bring you tremendous power i hear god clearly at night there are times i go outside and i just sit down everyone has slept i just sit down outside and i'm meditating many of us have been cheated in the night time the devil has studied your spiritual life and he has seen your area of vulnerability let me tell you something do you know there is something called slumber i hope you know it's a spirit uncontrolled passion for sleep you are passionate about sleep i'm not just talking of resting you know you are tired and you are resting some of us is a spirit no matter how you plan to pray once it's night even if you slept from morning till that time you are just going to thank the lord lord i bless you and snore your way to your morning it's a spirit if no one has told you something is wrong with your destiny many politicians and businessmen their time of meeting is in the night witches and wizards and demons that do all kinds of things you take advantage of the mysteries in the spirit there are times and seasons that grant you access by grace you see if you do not know these things if you do not know these things you will you will miss out on a lot of things why is it called the lord's supper not the lord's breakfast not the lord's lunch why was it done in the night because there was no time no was a mystery. I pray for every dead prayer life here or every prayer life that is need driven. Father, I'm coming before you now. The other time you gave me 5,000. Listen, 
if you really want to be strong and gain power and open the heavens your prayer must be effectual the key to effectual prayer is praying in tongues there is a place for praying in your understanding but i'm telling you if you want to make an effect pray in the spirit for no man knows what is in the heart of a man said the spirit that is in that man so no man knows what is in the heart of God you don't just go around grumbling just praying sing one or two choruses which is good the key to prayer I'm telling you effectual prayer that builds you is praying in tongues spend time praying in tongues not just in English or in your language no there is a place for that pray in the spirit and please if you are here and you have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit correctly and seriously I want you to know that there is something you are missing now I know I don't want to go into all the details our time is gone we come from different churches different ministries I know we have different ideas my goal of teaching this tonight is not to create controversy but I love you too much not to tell you the truth if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit I don't know what you have been taught about it we have teachings already there you can listen to it this is there is a need for you to say Lord I need to upgrade it's not just about praying blah, 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 making noise no this is a spiritual language the Bible calls it an instrument that helps our infirmities what is our infirmity the Bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought to but the Spirit makes intercession are we together don't say I just love the Lord I'm, I'm okay I'm, I'm fine honestly I don't want to complicate my spiritual life it's already complicated this world we live is very complicated the ministry of prayer is what will straighten that crooked path he said Elijah was a man of like passion like us he said he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain for a space of three and a half years Elijah locked the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said the heavens will not be open except at my word not the word of any man of God that is serious these are men who took territories they 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 tore the heavens open one time he was up the mountain some enemies came you see that a man of prayer let me tell you if you're a man of prayer and any man goes to any shrine to concoct nonsense oh come on ask the prophets of Baal what happened to them the Bible says they kept calling on Baal for morning Elijah said maybe he's sleeping wake him you know why many Christians are weak in the body of Christ we love comfort to a fault and and we men of God are the ones who have destroyed people I believe in prosperity you know that I believe in the blessings of God but brothers and sisters let me tell you there is the sacrifice you must make for your destiny the sacrifice of prayer it's not all about having CDs there are giants on every mountain are you hearing what I'm telling you there are giants on every mountain you are a pastor you are not praying you just share a revelation and you are happy you believe you come on stage no prayer no periodic fasting no strength you just want to speak and let things happen do you think god is a herbalist no god is not a herbalist please if you're a pastor here pay attention to what i'm telling you except you want to joke around with your members or you are ready for empty pews the generation we are in now members are not ready to waste their time for nonsense again once they come and sit down and you are wasting their time they will get up and they will leave no matter how you pray pour one gallon of oil on your head we need power it takes prayer to access open heaven are we together we add drama in churches for two hours and then when he's about to pray they say everybody bow your head as if we are mourning somebody just recites a prayer request for 10 minutes we say okay thank you jesus for answering prayer and people get up and that's why we keep getting weaker and weaker no discernment spiritual things are flying around your territory nobody has the eyes to see and the ears to hear until it happens and everybody is confused may that be, not be your testimony in the name of jesus christ three enemies of prayer number one excess food excess food there is a name for it it's called gluttony believe me 
if you take what i'm telling you your prayer life will step into another dimension am i saying you should not eat no not at all excess food gluttony there is a connection between food and the flesh number two excess sleep excess sleep the second enemy of prayer excess sleep number three the third enemy of prayer worry 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 is a spirit that's why the first assignment of worry is to bring you to a point of depression have you seen people with worry I don't mean people who are just thinking real worry they can't even talk uh -uh, are you doing well they just keep quiet because Satan's goal is to shut your mouth he knows that there is power that is released if you open your mouth he says my heart is indicting a good matter yea I speak of excellent things he said my tongue is the pen of a ready writer Psalms 45 1 and 2 my tongue is the pen of a ready writer men ought always to pray brothers and sisters pray turn and tell your neighbor pray say pray again say pray again say pray in the night yeah pray in the night you will you will command tremendous power there were times in zaria most of the people here will tell you night time was the time people built strength ah come on you would see all kinds of strategies of prayer strategies but well, god is helping us i'm just i'm just challenging you brothers and sisters please hear me if you are married husband and wife pray a praying husband and wife is a staying husband and wife a lazy husband and wife is a divorced family already it's a matter of time because every spirit the devil will move across families and he will come like the angel of death pass through every city but when he got to Goshen he came he saw that he saw that there was a fortification what fortification have you put around your life John chapter 1 when Satan went before God what happened he met a man who made oblations for his children it was a similitude of prayer and Satan said I came but I could not access him have you not built an hedge around him so after me a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian beauty and glory of God comes upon your life when you pray don't put prayer as an instrument of crashing this is the problem some of us pray but the entire scope of our prayer is God give me are you not seeing give me and we try to manipulate God and bend his hand that's why he gave me the blessings of praying in the spirit pray in the spirit stretch in the spirit you can put worship songs your earphone or something to create the atmosphere pray in the spirit even if you cannot pray in the night early hours of the morning why not put a little worship song charge your spirit sing one or two songs blast every mountain before you in tongue and walk out in the day and you become a living miracle you are walking with the heavens open and what looks miraculous for others becomes your atmosphere men will sit down and plot evil you will walk on it as if satan does not exist ah, those are the people who will not be affected by the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence there are people who will be affected you are a christian but you will still be affected but there are those who are immune i pity the native doctor that calls my name in any charm it's not just that it, if all that happens is that it does not work i'm still cheated for calling my name that charm and the native doctor was born to ashes when elijah finished proving his point he said no 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 no. if we stop here that's not all go and meet those prophets kill every one of them as a testament that you don't try god the devil has mocked some of our lives and we are just watching groaning for counseling and discussing some of you this night you will lock your door and say i'm offering my phone lord it must change families don't pray they discuss they call people to come and gossip but they never pray we meet people for counseling 
we go and meet babalao we go and meet all kinds of people but we never pray we pray as a last resort oh god i come to you you too you have seen what we have done we have made all of our efforts whereas we should come before god there was a king in the bible who died because he didn't seek god it was a taboo to seek other things when you have God. we depend on uncles if i talk to my uncle he will do this let me tell you never take action on anything until you have prayed about it especially major decisions in your life no matter how convinced you are pray because there is a way that cement right unto a man but the bible says the end thereof i can't tell you how many things i wanted to do plans i had physically speaking they look fabulous but when i went to the place of prayer there are many things we wanted to do as a ministry i would discuss in our leaders meeting Oh, we are going to do A and B. I will go back to God. If it's silent, I come back. They know already. The moment I say we'll do a thing and I'm silent about it, they know God has. Do you have the courage to keep quiet if God is silent? Do you have the courage to stand still if God is not moving? If the cloud did not move, they did not move. If it stood still, stand still. The true benefit of prayer not this thing people do just for spirituality just to show that i'm a man of prayer people bend and deceive themselves to show they are praying that's not a sign of prayer that's nonsense those are the kinds of things that make god look like an idiot prayer is serious business and it commands victory say i receive grace to pray say it again i receive grace to pray grace to pray take charge of your atmosphere there are giants on every mountain if they didn't spare Jesus, they will not spare you. I guarantee you. Make no mistake. Do not think they will not come for your business or your family or your children. You have the testimony of our dear mother. Do not think they will, they will. The devil will attack anything that can be attacked. If it does not happen, it's coming. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord. The Bible says after the temptation, he left Jesus for a season. For a season. He came through Peter. Jesus detected him. He said, ah, you caught me. The next time he came through Judas, the son of perdition, Jesus allowed it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled, not because he was not ready to overcome. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and I'll hear from the earth. My altar is calling you, oh God. My prayer is calling you, oh God. Oh, speak from the heavens, and I'll hear you from the earth. Oh, speak from your throne, and I'll hear from the earth. For my altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Do you have an altar that calls him? Do you have a secret place that calls him? When there are men who seek your flesh and they are invoking upon altars, is there an altar that answers? Or are you just loitering around hoping that life will work? Men have died because they did not have altars. Let me tell you, please play no games. I'm not scaring you. Lady, don't think you will just get married because you are beautiful. Take back your priestly robe tonight and go back to the place of prayer. There is an effectual fervent prayer. There are many brothers. You will not just be established because you are a graduate. There are giants on every mountain. A man can look at you with his saddy spirit and vow that you will not move forward. It takes prayer to move mountains. By the grace of God, this ministry is moving as if the devil does not exist. It's not because the devil does not want to destroy this ministry. There is a mystery. There are, there are mysteries like cornerstones that we have found. 
and put around the boundaries of this ministry number three the third key to carrying and releasing the glory and the manifest presence of God is worship the last scripture and then we'll continue next week during the miracle service second chronicles chapter 5 we'll read verse 13 and 14 just two verses very interesting this was the dedication of the temple when Solomon had built the temple there was a sacrifice upon the altar and he was about to dedicate the temple hallelujah second chronicles 13 and 14 it came to pass listen as the trumpeters and singers were what as one making one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the lord and when they lifted up their voice with trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the lord saying for he is good for his mercy endureth forever that what then the house was filled with the the cloud filled the whole house right the next verse so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud for the glory of the lord had filled the house listen in 2005 i conducted a personal research jewish worship and the mystery of god's presence i was obsessed i wanted to know what the secret was how will a man just step into a place and the atmosphere just changes physically as if he carries a dimension of glory i wanted to find out because i saw this happen in the lives of the jews i saw this happen to people who were associated to the jews like benihim and so on and so forth they would just sing and worship and before you know it the glory will fill the place oh i wish we had time we'll take it from here next week but brothers and sisters worship is a mystery that compels the presence of god to be made manifest worship is a mystery the third key to activating the manifested presence of god here and now in a place worship it's not enough to just be obedient as powerful as prayer is there is a dimension many of us are missing in our spiritual life worship the bible says in psalm 100 it says that we enter his gates with thanksgiving then it says and his courts with praise he said come before him with singing the protocol to meeting him is song singing come before him it has nothing to do with the quality of your voice it has nothing to do with your music proficiency although that's an added advantage however you cannot give an excuse that because i cannot sing i cannot raise songs and incense of worship unto god next week i'm going to be teaching us the protocol of acceptable worship not every kind of worship is acceptable the proof that your worship is acceptable is that his glory responds to it i'll share with us the mystery of cain and abel a type of the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh the bible says both of them they came and they offered sacrifices of worship right and abel gave of his firstlings and his fatlings and cain just gave up the vegetables and all of that and then the bible says how that the sacrifice of abel rose up to the heavens and that of cain did not rise up and cain killed abel when god met cain he said where is you know where is abel he said am i my brother's keeper and then he began to challenge him and he said that if he did what was right paraphrasing would his sacrifice not be accepted sacrifice of worship is not just about singing there is a protocol that leads to acceptable worship the first key to acceptable worship is found in romans chapter 12 from verse 1 i beseech thee brethren by the message of god that ye offer your bodies 
that's the first key that he offer your bodies not your songs not your voice not your offering not your oblations not the lifting up of your hands like the morning sacrifice above and beyond that there is a protocol there is a system that must precede your songs he says your body must become a prototype of what you want to offer with your lips and then Hebrews 13 gives us a picture of the fact that worship and praise is sacrificial so the first is there must be death we we'll explain that the second is that it must be a sacrifice it says let us offer unto God the sacrifice of praise which are the calves of our lips he calls your sacrifice the cow of your lips in the similitude of that which was done in ancient times in the temple he says when you worship God it is in the similitude of the killing of bulls and rams he says offer the calves of your lips a sacrifice that is acceptable unto him hallelujah that's why we took our time to worship and as we began to worship God began to respond and touch people the spirit of prophecy came upon us and we began to minister three short keys that I've given you tonight that control the manifestation of God's glory you can't argue it they are not they are not they are not opinions they are the spiritual formula for accessing the glory of God number one obedience number two a, a consistent life of effectual prayer hallelujah number three the incense of worship oh let my praise rise before you the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice these are all mysteries the mystery of the lifting up of hands the mystery of repetition as you sing you see a lot of people sing it the Jews used to sing songs one line they would sing it for hours just like you see many people in many religions it's, it's not an enchantment there is something they do the mystery of repetition you see that happen in the songs that the psalmist wrote their response will be for hallelujah thank you praise the lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever or for his mercy shall endure ever faithful ever sure and so he will say a lot of things and then they will keep responding listen they didn't write songs as musicians they wrote songs as spiritual men they didn't have that skill to compose songs it was as it was delivered to them it was delivered in a particular way that if they sang it it will make god respond in a particular way for instance that formula you are good and your mercy endures forever you know i've studied it i found out that every time the nation of israel wanted deliverance that was the song they sang it had to be that line they invoked the goodness and the mercy of god two things that we quote every sunday they are following us and we never see it because we don't believe them the goodness of god and the mercy of god it was the goodness of god that passed before moses i will let my goodness a dimension of my glory called my goodness pass and then his mercy he says for it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed hallelujah we're going to rise and pray just for a few minutes and say lord i want to see your glory in my life i'm tired of just being a christian coming to church i want to begin to walk in the glory of god lift your hands and begin to pray hallelujah lift your hands and pray father i desire to see the glory the manifest presence of god in my life can you pray please go ahead Koinonia, are you praying? Are you praying? I desire to see your glory in my life. 
Lord, I'm tired of a barren Christian life. I receive that grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. I want to see your glory revealed in my life. Let the eyes of the blind be opened through my hands. Let the tears of the death be unstopped. Let my life represent breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Grace for unusual obedience. Lift your voice and pray. Grace. 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 Grace for unusual obedience. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Grace for unusual obedience. Grace for unusual obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, please I'd like you to pray. If your prayer life is dead on its way to death, don't feel condemned, don't feel embarrassed, but I'd like you to pray. And say lord bring it back alive my prayer life at every level you can move higher lift your voice and pray the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous are very much make sure you are praying Lord, I'm tired of lack of discernment in my life. I'm tired of acting carnally. I'm tired of acting just by my sensory impulses. I pray my way to divine secrets. I pray my way to divine strategies. I pray my way to divine secrets. hallelujah hallelujah let's add one more prayer under the area of prayer you're going to pray many of us see things and hear things but there is no grace access to understanding so there are so many things god is showing us but we are deaf of understanding so we do not have the grace to interpret or to interpret correctly lift your voice and cry say grace to understand he said, understand that what thou readest is one thing to see, is one thing to have a dream, is one thing to hear God speak, but it's another thing to understand the working knowledge of the revelations you have received. You need it for your marriage, you need it for your ministry, you need it for your job, you need it to know where God wants you to be. Part time. Understanding, understanding. Lord, I'll not just have dreams. I receive understanding. I'll not just hear your voice. I receive interpretations, accurate, unemotional interpretations of spiritual reality. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! last prayer point lord teach me the art of worship worship in a way that can bring your presence to abide and remain in my life lift your voice give me songs from heaven give me songs in the night melodies of the spirit let me hear the songs of angels let me hear the sound of the spirit the songs for every season the song to sing my way into the glory to sing my way into breakthrough to sing my way into healing some miracles to sing my way into prophecy to sing the songs of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah next week i'll teach you briefly before i begin to minister during the miracle service listen pay 
pay attention to the songs that God brings in your life seasonally. There are times the spirit is the one who recommends the song you will use in your worship. Stay there. Don't be rebellious. Those songs have authority upon them to bring a dimension of breakthrough. In the last maybe three months, the Lord speaks to me through songs. I have, I have gotten so many songs. Are we together now? Pay attention. Music is one of the languages in the spirit. You must pay attention to the impulses, the sounds. Sometimes it could just be the line of a song. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. That's what lands upon your spirit. Don't just guess your song and say the song is not in my tribe. No! There is authority in that song. It's like a sword. It's an instrument of warfare. You keep singing it. Sometimes for hours. Are we together now? Yeah. That's how I get fit. Let me tell you. I can give you testimonies of personal breakthroughs in my life as a result of certain songs. So glorious in your way. No other song will do. You just keep singing it. You get up in the morning and that's the only song you hear. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. That may be a song in your spirit. You may just receive it. God is telling you, I'm coming through for you. But you see, the problem is, many of us do not know. You are supposed to take it. Don't stop singing it. That's your instrument. That's a pass in the spirit. But we drop it and then raise all kinds of choruses in our languages. And we are just singing and dancing. And God is saying, no, there is acceptable worship. Are we together? There are times you see us in Koinonia here. Two weeks, three weeks. When I come up stage or the worship team, we keep repeating certain songs. There is authority upon the songs. We stretch them until the grace that they came with from heaven is delivered unto the people. Then the songs will rest. Pay attention to songs. Everyone can receive songs, whether you're a musician or not. It's a product of alignment, not just musical accuracy. You can edit it. But you can receive a song hold on to it and sing your way to an ending breakthrough it was the playing of the string that casted out demons right from david there was a sound that the spirit heard he said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect your worship is an incense it's a language that calls the presence of god lift your hands and let me pray for you In the name that is above all names let everyone represented here begin to walk in dramatic signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ the barrenness in your christian life that makes your revelations mock you because there is no grace for performance i command it to come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ that for every dimension of spiritual reality you communicate there will be grace to demonstrate its validity here and now in the name of jesus christ i pray for you everywhere you have tried to activate the operation of the world and have not gotten results go back now and see the strength of the almighty god upon your life in the name of jesus christ where you laid hands on the sick and nothing seemed to happen i empower your hands you go back and you will watch dramatic miracles in the name of jesus the supernatural dimension in your life must be clearly made manifest for the world to listen to you they are not waiting for the explanation of the sons of god but tired of noise there must be something supernatural you must desire the operation of the spirit to be activated in your life. You must covet the spirit. That Lord, my life will become a host to your glory. That it will be a privilege for people to receive me. Because they know as they receive me, they give space for the glory. They will bless you. Someone sows into your life and gets a, a million fold return. Do you think you will sow again? Yes. Because you sow in the glory. You pray for somebody and reap two effects of unending testimony. It will motivate you. For who 
but if the only thing that consoles you spiritually is that maybe you are understanding bible or you are going to heaven your spiritual life is barren hallelujah there is a blood that speaketh better things tonight than every ancestral blood of darkness and i'm going to pray right now and take authority i tell you the time has come enough is enough everybody shout enough is enough say one more time enough is enough outside i'm telling you what the lord shows me tonight there will be massive deliverances in this place hallelujah when we start we're just going to move fast so that we will conserve time hallelujah those outside lift your hands just the people outside those outside lift your hands at the count of three the angels of deliverance will sweep across and ordinances of darkness i like you to bring all the people at the count of three i like you to shout the name jesus are you ready those outside just the people outside one two three the fire of the holy ghost the altars of Baal. Shake it, take it, Posatai. We set altars of darkness. Shopekaya. Like a mighty Russian wind. Move. The power of God is moving outside in a mighty way. Shake it, take it, let it go to So break it, the bush. I set a place. I set a place. Every power of darkness. Every spiritual wickedness, every foul spirit, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The power of God is moving outside. The angel of the Lord moving outside. God is shaking things outside. Shaking things. Shaking things. Shaking things. Every power of hell outside. Release God's people. The power of God is still moving outside. Those of you inside, lift up your hands. At the count of three, I like you to shout the name Jesus. Goodness, I see the angels of the Lord. And these are not the kinds of angels I see every miracle service. Hallelujah. There will be a shout, the healer, the instrumentalist. At the count of three, and the Spirit of God, on behalf of yourself and your family members. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three. Every demon spirit, every curse, every ordinary, bring them out.
Something will lead you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Lord is releasing people from all kinds of bondages. The power of God is touching somebody outside. In a mighty way, somebody outside. A devil of darkness, you will let her go. Come out of her right now. Come out of her. Devil of darkness. Out. Fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. It's against you tonight. Hallelujah. this girl go now foul devil of darkness come out of her out you're free in the name of Jesus Christ stand up let this girl go now thou foul devil in the name that is above all names out you go out now come out of her out of her please make sure everyone is connecting this has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Look at me. You, look at me. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. The foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Come out of her. your night of visitation. Hold my hands. Come out 
God is going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing. Trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please. Please. If you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead. In the name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now, thank you, Jesus. Come out of her, out of her, come out. You're free. Same thing, come out of her right now, devil of darkness. You're leaving. I see you in the spirit. You're going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump, lump in your breast, lump anywhere is going to live right now make sure you check yourself instant miracles of lumps I, I saw it and the lord told me it's time i want to pray it right now i told somebody to come out i brought somebody from that room who is the person i told that god will visit her not the woman Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, O God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell you something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I will see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is this is this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, Lums? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast or any part of your body, your neck, your waist, wherever, right now, I command it to disappear. 
in the name of Jesus I command it to leave be healed right now be healed right now go ahead begin to check yourselves come bring that child can we have the mic please what's, 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 this, what's the issue help us with the mic please He has not been eating. Who brought him? Whose child is this? Where is his mother? If we are calling your child, Mama, please come. Let's save time. Huh? They came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit out right now out of her with a loud shout you are going in the mighty name of Jesus Christ what's wrong with the child he has not been eating so we take him to the why did he have all this abnormality the so, doctors madam look at me you are delivered I don't know what it is that runs through your leg but I'm seeing light power of God Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when it was four months, we discovered that the front was enlarging. So we went to hospital after a, the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? They said he was going to undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you. Sir. What? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself will keep on enlarging and the sinuses, that is the sutures, will keep on expanding. Does it have a medical cure? Um, the only medical cure is to drain the water. But even as at that, I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. <laughs> That he might destroy the works of you. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it, supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on. I know. I'm seeing a girl, baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Canada. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. <laughs> huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss no, this with me? No, please, no. if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people I'm out. Please. You for the first please. Time but let her come out. If we, if, if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. I've me I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. 
he will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby girl. Amen. All right, the flame of death. And tell your husband, where is he working? He worked with a school. He and then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him. Because this, this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing. So you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will tithe one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was. He he's was still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. It's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Yeah. Hmm? Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Yeah. Who are you? You know them, or you are from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think well, not him. You. Don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where's your father? My father is late. Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting behind them. You are a student? Yeah. I finished my secondary school tonight, so I've been writing jumps. Since this is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here, people who know you, who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is please? Who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? Brain problem. Brain. She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah. What happened? Don't know. I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back to miracle. Find somewhere and keep this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person.
pray for them, but the Lord is showing me you brought somebody. Is he a sick person? Who is that person? Inside or outside? Please let's save time more. God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here. He will come back with testimonies for this woman. This is terrible. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. This thing started this year. Who is that person, please? Who is that person? Who is that person? Oh. Is she the okay? Come. Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting, also her eyes. it's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Yes. Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. is a spirit be healed of diabetes right now I come against that foul spirit Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not that I'm sick. Okay. I late married and. You want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimony is, yes, do you sir. believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? Mm. You need to be delivered first before marriage. Mm. I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We'll come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural, inexplainable, the hand of God. Lift your hands. Hmm. In the name that is above all names. 
Now, there are some of you, as I pray, you see, some of you, what is stopping you is the hand of darkness. For a few people, not everybody, because I'm seeing spirits. The moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just want you to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This, this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as is happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. This row. I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of God will come upon you strong that devil of darkness enough is enough just this room because I see the angel of the Lord standing Lord let that person come out the Holy Ghost will bring you out you will come out you will come out you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost leave her alone she will come out no. Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, reke te te te, reke te te te, reke po shoto, batoko po teke, reke te po soko toba, leke po riata, ma reke te 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 te, eke po roko pakata. You 
will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness. Inside and outside. This is a this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh, there are people. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? Feeling a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I saw it from Osa. After Did the doctors treatment. tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The also that been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with also. Hmm? Where's your? You have an elder sister. Yes. Where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes. What What's she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to, it has been a problematic child, but. This is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And Let all this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. Go. 
Jina na bana makuri ya nani. It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Go. We love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? how true it is. Lord, visit him. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? Because I believe in you. You do? Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bid to try to help the of Jesus Christ. Be made whole, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things, parents be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then... God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You, you deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. confusion and 
this is why God is telling me this is how your life is. That's why I held you and I was walking. God wants to set you free from serious confusion. You are easily deceived. Anybody can tell you anything and that's why I was moving around. This does not, this is confusion. You get easily deceived. Anybody just say anything and you believe. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands, both of your hands. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. So pakapata. Reketebola koso preti kadebosh. That you will have a strong heart. The Bible says, be wise as serpents. What are you here for, my sister? I saw myself on the ground. Oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. Come heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it, it's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go! Cares, go! Yes, go! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place tonight. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take a miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart, come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne let God find you today are you hearing me to Jesus the lamb who was slain hold my hands father find a vessel in this lady do with her what only you can do ignite a fire in her spirit even as you have revealed to me let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified in the name of Jesus every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
the Lamb who was slain. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, oh, the one precious. <laughs> Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say, I must be precious. God, he must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, See, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Sataka balata pokosia. The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. I see. Look at look at this. This is what is responsible. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Just leave her. He cannot stand. He's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you are... No, 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 I didn't ask my grain to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother? Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run, you want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in the green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes.
his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we even make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. My name is Precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that, that he maltreated This thing, since when she was small when till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about it about it come and line up here quickly quickly god wants to visit people i don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now, take it, fall, fall, take it, take it, take the fire, 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 take the fire. Take the fire. The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka balada bakapa. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Healing anointings, not corporosa time. Take it, make sure you are receiving it. Songs. 
Many of you will hear songs in your spirit. New songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive it, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace, songs of healing. Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension, but consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand, some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing. Songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer requests. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Man, de 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 de, bakoso so so, bado do 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 do, prato shubata. Zikete te te, prakete pele de bush. Please don't be in a rush this night, because what God wants to do, He has not finished. Zizi zizi, menekete pele de bush. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers help me and line them up, please, please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Those of you, those of you stay, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit, gentle touch, help me, Pastor. Please help me with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus, Jesus. we, we believe. Make sure you pass Jesus, your prayer request. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing in your there is a day. healing river. Hey, As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit, gentle touch is flowing. The moment Jesus. I pray for you, begin to check 
Jesus, yourself. We believe Jesus. There is healing in your name, Almighty Papa. Almighty Father.
doing mighty Healing things in this place. one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight many of you don't know what a breakthrough is the bible says and abraham was old and stricken in age 
and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says, Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers and the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing. Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor, so. Please, if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request, Pastor. Hallelujah. Pray along with us, prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O oh Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it as we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. Hallelujah. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace, the God who says a thing and accomplishes it in the life of his children, the I am that I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity. That you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, 
our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request has seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we'll come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need Every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know. That all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, when I pray, I like you to shout Amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, Afflicting any family, I set you free now in the name of Jesus. I set families free now in the name of Jesus. I set families free now in the name of Jesus. I set families free now in the name of Jesus. Father, mother, brothers, sisters, be free. Be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. 
anyone here whether you or your family members looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days I place a demand upon the heavens. Receive miracle job. Receive miracle job. Receive miracle job for you, for your loved ones. for you or for your loved ones. I don't care how long they have waited. Tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that yoke of delay is broken in the name of Jesus. Let the next admission list of various higher institutions carry their names in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those with any kind of academic issue, I don't care what it is. Any kind of academic, whether missing script. You're on probation, you are trusting the hand, whatever it is. You're doing your project, things are difficult. Whatever academic issue tonight. In the name of the Lord God of Israel. The one who does wonders in this place. I declare. Step into a season of academic victory. Step into a season of academic victory. I release you from any kind of bondage. I release you any kind of academic bondage. Be free. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are due for marriage, whether you or your love, your loved ones. See, let me tell you in this place, once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight, I pray. That your wives and your husbands, those of you who are who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call run out here, because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God called it the before December 31st, 2013, come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources, we supply the place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any terminal disease in this place, 
HIV, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Infections, all kinds of satanic names. I declare right now, we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus. Anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names, be changed, be changed to AA. I change it in the name of the Lord. Receive it. Receive a change of genotype. You will come back with testimonies. Believe it. Receive it. Everything he made, he made it beautiful. Any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said, let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I curse every foul spirit. who are students and are in final year I declare those who need the mercy of God for their graduation I pray right now let policies be changed let something happen in your faculty that has never happened we release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I want to prophesy restoration Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them I want to speak there are lecturers whose promotions are overdue is that true is that true in the name that is above all names this night we command even offices that are not available we create it for them this night in the name of Jesus the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for Joseph tonight I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level I connect you I call for the helpers of your destiny financial helpers marital helpers Career help us, spiritual help us, receive your ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you or your whether building project whatever it is for you and for your families you are building a three bedroom flat that has taken over 10 years this is a curse I pray right now in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural supplies the beds that brought food for the prophet I command may they locate your family I open up the heavens over your family in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust these men will not just get well they will be trained 
the first thing you need is the staying grace the school is not easy let me tell you the truth but happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid i pray for you every curse of poverty and lack there are some of you who are kingdom financiers the power of god will come upon you kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers now i pray for everyone this cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the lord jesus this night by the sure mercies of the god of david i command your heavens to be open i command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing i pray let your hands receive wealth that only god can give inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it's by the spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor this is one of the things we enjoy in abundance hallelujah I cannot tell you how the favor of God works no man can explain it but I know it works I know it works I am a testament if you believe I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of God can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of God the Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 it said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor i tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence we have never paid a time for this venue the last miracle service i still don't know who paid for the venue this is the favor of god i want you to believe it if you want to work for everything in your life get set to die hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you favor for many of you to come on you this is what you need i'm telling you this is what you need families what you need is favor not stories my god my god I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that is upon koinonia I take it and I release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. I activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it Favor. Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You cannot come here tonight 
and not be on fire for God. You cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid. Many of you, your prayer altars are dead. It's not because you don't love God. Hallelujah. Many of you, one leg in, one leg out. Last year, you were on fire this year. Hallelujah. Many of our mothers, fathers, people at home, our prayer life, our word life, we are looking for things that only the word of God can give us. But Jesus said to Martha, he said, one thing is needful. One thing. One thing. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Alongside with this, I want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can't the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all-important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Stirrings of the Spirit. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name, some of you will, will be set on fire literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. Take it. Lord of knowledge. Take it. Gifts of wisdom. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants lift your hands everybody in the mighty name of Jesus take it take it take it take it Jesus. take it
Hallelujah. May your life be a fruitful life. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. May God bring results to your life. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Any life that has not been experiencing results. That you have never testified. May this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results. May this be your month. Do you believe this? Hallelujah. I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, please keep standing everybody. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me. Inside and outside, you are hearing my voice right now. You have seen the works of the Lord. It's time for you to get into a real relationship with God. Or for some of you, you have given your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. But you found yourself derailing. Inside and outside, the Lord is speaking to you. Mother, father, whoever. I want you to leave your seat and come out here right now. I want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings. The lover of your life. Inside and outside. Right now, leave your seat and come. Koinonia, appreciate them as they come. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. They are coming. God bless you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Outside. Don't let the devil stop you. Mother, father, whoever. Yes. It's time to surrender. Surrender. Appreciate them. It doesn't matter what your past is. God can give you a new beginning. Don't allow the person you came with to stop you. This is the greatest miracle. Another Jesus. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. They are still coming. The Holy Ghost is convicting them inside and outside. Thank you, Jesus. We will connect you to the maker of your life. I surrender more. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins this night I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord and I accept him my name is in the book of life I declare that I'm saved the Holy Spirit is in me eternal life is mine from today I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. 
the reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth let it be discovered and maximized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray that every encumbrance everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God you are free for me today there is grace for you you will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord we celebrate you please I'd like you to follow the ushers they'll have your details and we'll send you a text and get across to you pastor Jakes is not around but we'll send we'll make arrangements and I'll be there by God's grace to see you God bless you please tomorrow together with them all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues six on the dot Please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot. Be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We are closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time. Inside and outside. We love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them koinonia. If this is your first time. Please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekato Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.